Hi Battle Bays and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a sergeant in the United States Army. So something exciting is happening. The women in the army may be entering the new year with a huge win and I'm so excited and definitely here for it. So the army is talking about making some long overdue changes to the grooming and appearance regulation AR 670-1 and I wanted to talk about it. So let's get into it. So an article published on 29 December 2020 titled, The Army is Planning a Major Overhaul of the Hair and Grooming Regulation, talks about the changes to the regulation our senior leadership have been discussing and these possible changes are due to be finalized and announced this month. One of the first things that the article mentioned is the removal of any wording that can be considered offensive or racist. So this article is already starting off awesome, okay? And you can tell a lot of thought is going into these changes because wording is even being taken into consideration. You have to admit that some of the things in the regulation are offensive and they come across so wrong and these things target people of color and minorities. For the current regulations to embarrass, belittle, and degrade us for the way our hair naturally grows from our scalp something that is completely beyond our control but still be told that our natural self is unkept unprofessional and wrong to be forced to damage and even lose hair to conform to a European standard of beauty when we don't belong there can you tell that I'm excited about these changes because I personally had to deal with the repercussions of pulling my hair back tight to look squared away and I know I'm not the only one so something as simple as allowing ponytails is a big deal especially for those who can't put their hair in a bun just yet or for people like me who have to do the extra pulling to to make a nice, decent, squared away bun, my nape needs a break sometimes, okay? I'm sick of losing the hair in the back of my head, so this is great. This, this is a good thing. Women will now be allowed to shave their heads. In the current regulation, it states that a woman's hair can be no shorter than one fourth of an inch from the scalp, that's no longer gonna be the case. The article states, and I quote, it should be a woman's choice if she wants to have hair or not. I love it. I love everything about that statement. Agreed. One of the changes proposed that so many are so happy for is approving earrings in ACU. <laughs> I cannot wait. Okay, come on, Sergeant Major of the Army. Can you make this happen for us? I kid you not, I was so happy reading that to the point I was like jumping up and down because I often, so often joke about using the open door policy to go and talk to the Sergeant Major of the Army to ask him if I can wear earrings. Ask my Air Force friends. I always tell them how jealous I am of them, so. I mean, I can't wear these, of course, but I, I'm ready, okay? I got a pack of earrings ready, okay? To some, earrings is a small win, and I actually heard that some people didn't even want that change. Crazy. <sighs> they don't count. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. For people like me, it's a big deal because being a woman in the army, especially when you are a girly girl, you're very feminine, you're very soft, you know, you do feel like you have to give up a little bit of that feminine essence being in the army to kind of to kind of prove that you're one of the guys. So for the Sergeant Major of the Army to basically step in and say, no, you shouldn't have to do that and give a little bit of that back to us, it kind of validates our position as women in the army, heck, as women in the military, that just because we wear a little bit of mascara, earrings, and some nail polish, does not mean we will hesitate to do what we have to do when the time comes, okay? Okay, and I can do that with or without wearing earrings, mascara, and nail polish. Speaking of nail polish, that was the last thing that was mentioned in the article. So as we currently know, as we know currently, the current regulation states that we can only wear clear nail polish Acrylics are authorized, but on top of those acrylics, it better be clear nail polish. You can't have like the white tips or anything like that. You can't do any of that. So with this new regulation, well, these new proposed changes to the regulation, you will be authorized to wear color that does not clash with your skin tone, which is a big deal, a big deal, especially, I mean, I don't get my nails done anymore. I don't know if you guys know this, but I just stopped doing it, honestly, because of the regulation. That was one of the reasons I stopped getting my nails done. But, but, this is amazing because getting your nails done is not gonna be a waste of money anymore. Boom, boom. And as far as changes, that's all the article lays out and I am so ready for each and every last one of these changes. I did want to mention 
how I felt reading this article as well because in my opinion, I feel like we're dealing with a leadership that really care. Yes, these changes are really good and I'm super excited that it's, you know, this is even a possibility, but it goes a little deeper than that. I don't know if that's the same thing for anybody else, but for me, it goes a little bit deeper than that. The question was asked to Sergeant Major of the Army Grinston, why are these issues important to you? And his response, guys, was perfect. It was so perfect. He responded with, because they're important to our soldiers. I love it. I love it, I love everything about it. And I'm gonna tell you why I love everything about it. Because not only is that the approach I take to my own style of leadership, but that's the approach I take to parenting. I've even said that, that exact same thing at the end of one of my videos. It's important to me because it's important to them. And that just says so much because that goes to show that whatever i think whatever it is this is this is how can i explain it because right i'm telling y'all when i read that i'm just like wow that's crazy i honestly wish that this was a live interview i wanted to hear this man talk because you kind of hear the passion behind these words and this is just an article can you imagine hearing him talk about leading his passion for leading love it i love it i seriously do i love it <laughs> the way he actually listened to issues of black women from black women and proposed changes based off the recommendations of those black women is is monumental it goes to show how serious he was about making changes that are going to make a real difference it was told to me early in my military career that your experience is only as good as your chain of command and i am a strong believer of that if you have really poor chain of command that don't really care for its soldiers and so on you're going to feel that even if you try to be the most positive person in the world, you're going to feel that and that's gonna hinder your experience. Vice versa, if you have a really good chain of command who are for your soldiers, who does the things that they're supposed to do, you're going to feel that and you're gonna reap those benefits. So if these changes are a preview of what we can expect to come, a chain of command that approaches issues so actively and with so much attentiveness I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's the servant leadership for me. So how do you feel about these new proposed changes? Are you against it? Are you with it? Go ahead down in the comment section and let me know. Let's have a conversation. But that's all I have for this video, okay? Make sure you comment, like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye. It's the servant leadership for me. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow them stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the.